Yo, what is up guys? It's Ryan and back with another video. Today we're going to be discussing Thunderbird, the B&M launched wing coaster at Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. And boy, let me tell you, this ride is awesome. But before we get into the ride experience, let's list off some of the stats. Thunderbird has a height of 140 feet, 4 inversions, a duration of a minute 18 seconds, in the track length of 3,035 feet. But that's not all. The biggest element on this ride is that LSM launch from 0 to 60 mile per hour in 3.5 seconds. And boy, let me tell you, is that a very fun, smooth launch. It's very forceful and it definitely takes you by surprise. After that very forceful launch, you are then sent into a forceful 140 foot tall Immelman, which is the tallest point on the ride. Then you are sent into a forceful vertical loop. Then you are sent to an upward banked helix to the right, down, and then up into another one to the left. Kind of making a figure eight type shape. After you get out of that helix, you are then sent into a very forceful zero G roll to the right. After that G roll, you're sent into a weird element that I don't even know what the name or even how to describe it, so I'll attempt to describe it. So you kind of go up and to the right, banked to the right, and then once you get to the top of this turn, as it turns right, it banks you back to the left and turns you towards the left. So it's kind of like an S bend and an airtime hill combined. Nevertheless, believe it or not, in these Vest restraints, I did manage to catch a little bit of laterals. For a B&M wing coaster, that is very unique. And it was very cool and it definitely added to the ride a bit. After you come out of that S-Bend airtime hill, we'll call it, you then go through this little shack and you kind of get your first hand chopper of the ride. Then you go into a helix that's banked to the left that's about 270 degrees straight into an inline twist to the left that is very slow and forceful that takes you straight into the brake run. That is one of the best inversions I've ever been on. It kind of reminds me of Banshee Zero G Roll where it's just so slow and it makes your head just shrivel up in a knot. You close your eyes. It's such a fun element. You get so much hang time. So unlike Wild Eagle and Gatekeeper, the other two B&M wing coasters I've done, where it tends to be the first half is strong and the second half is just mediocre at best, that is an absolute no for this ride. This ride has some of the best pacing from start to finish I've ever been on. In fact, it cracked my top 15. This ride is such great pacing. It's forceful. I grayed out multiple times in the three rides I had on it. I got two rides in row three, one on the left side, one on the right side, and I got one back row ride on the left side. I love this ride. It is very smooth. It has some of the best, smoothest transitions you could imagine on a roller coaster. This ride is dang near perfect, and I love it a lot. It is a short duration, so I do wish it was a little bit longer. But I'm not going to fault it at all. It packs a punch. It's rapid back-to-back -back elements. They're forceful. They're smooth. And there's not many other coasters as far as the pacing category that I would put ahead of it. This is a very underrated coaster. And I wish it would get more appreciation. As far as the theming goes, I'm a little bit confused to be honest. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be themed to an actual bird or the jets, the Thunderbirds. Because when you look at the... The station and you see the big wings on it you would think it's themed to a bird but when you launch you get like mist shot at you and there's jet background noises going on it's kind of confusing and when you go through the ride you go through a little shack so I guess interpret it as you will when you ride it but I'm a little confused but it get, I guess it has some effort so it's decent theming it's nothing too crazy though, for sure. There's nothing throughout the ride other than that shack that really would make me think that it's supposed to resemble anything to do with the ride. Come to think of it, there really wasn't much theming in the queue line or station either. So what am I giving Thunderbird as a final score? I'm giving it a 95 out of 100. This ride is phenomenal. The only thing I wish was better about this ride was the duration. I wish it was a little bit longer, but that is literally my only complaint. This ride is fast, it's smooth, it's forceful, it's comfortable, and I have had nothing but fun on it, and I cannot wait to ride it again at Hollywood Nights. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, hit that like button for sure. 
subscribe, hit the bell. It will help my channel grow with the new YouTube algorithm. Be sure when you hit that bell, you hit notifications and all that will you get a notification every time I post. If you don't have time to watch it, you can swipe it down, hit watch later. It'll add to a watch later playlist on YouTube. Then you can watch all the videos you missed from myself and other YouTubers whenever you're bored. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to keep God number one. We'll see you guys next time here at Christian Coasters. Peace.